Hello everyone, this is Vince with an announcement about a new project I am working on, the Autocrat Podcast. Autocrat is a light-hearted show I host with my co-host Cassie. We aim to look through the story of Roman civilization. What does this entail? Well, it's everything from the creation of the gods through to the mythology, the story of Aeneas, Romulus and Remus, the Roman Kingdom, the Republic, the Empire, all the way through to 1453 and beyond. Who knows if we'll make it to the end of the journey, but we aim to have fun along the way. Don't worry, this show isn't going anywhere, but I hope you will give this new show a listen if the concept sounds interesting. To explain it a little more thoroughly, I'll pass you over now to the introductory episode of Autocrat. That's it from me. Enjoy the episode, and see you next time. Hello, and uh, welcome to Autocrat. I am Vince, one of the co-hosts, and... And I'm Cassie, the other co-host. So, what is Autocrat? Well, we are a podcast that is going to be going through the entire journey of Roman civilization, essentially. That sounds nice. So, Roman civilization, what does that mean? Well, we are going to be going from Greek mythology, the kingdom of Alba Longa... What is that? Alba Longa? Yeah. It's basically the state that came before the Roman kingdom. Oh, cool, cool. Cool. And so, then the Roman Kingdom. Yes, the Roman Kingdom, the Republic, then going through, you know, Empire, what we call Byzantium, but shouldn't. We'll get to that, listeners, all the way to Constantine the Eleventh and beyond. So we'll be following the story as the Romans themselves would have seen it. Meaning yeah, we're, looking... we're going to dress as them. Yes, you, you, listeners, you can imagine us in togas the entire way through if you want. But we're going to go through mythologically rather than the archaeologically, yes. whatever that means. It means that we're going to be looking at the mythological stories rather than the archaeological discussions of where Rome actually came from, because this is how the Romans themselves would have seen it. Plus, who doesn't like mythology, right? Mythology is awesome. What's one of your favourite stories from Greek mythology? My favourite story would be the one where the guy ends up on the rock with his eyes eaten out. His liver, you mean? His liver? Yes, Prometheus. <laughs> yeah, I love that yeah. one. Yeah, well, that will probably come up at some point. Awesome. We, don't, we haven't fully settled what order we're going to be going in in mythology, and obviously I suspect we can't cover all of it, but we'll go through some stories that lead nicely we'll do the to cool Rome. ones. Yes, that lead nicely to the start of our actual story. So just to start things off, why the name Autocrat? Well, for that, I'm going to be referring to the common source Wikipedia for autocrator, meaning someone who rules themselves, basically meaning someone who doesn't answer to anyone else. So me. In the context of this podcast, yes. (laughs) But in more political terms, let's say the president of the USA, the vice president answers to the president, but the president answers to no one. Or to God, according to him. Yes, but in human terms. And actually, you saying auto god is actually quite appropriate to the later Roman emperors because they will see themselves, as far as I remember, as sort of vice regents of God on earth. Anyway, the emperors of Rome and Byzantium used this to translate from imperator, so the Latin term, to Greek. Polybius used it as a translation for the Latin dictator. Yes, and we will get to the Latin term dictator and what that means in later episodes when we cover the Roman Senate. And so, given that we'll be following the Roman story, it seems appropriate to use their terms. Plus, given the modern world's implication of tyranny, that kind of fits as well if we're discussing Roman emperors, right? It does. A quick note, neither of us are historians. I have a biological background, and you have... A law one. Yes, so we're just doing this podcast for fun. It's just to get a bit of an overview of the story. We're not looking at this with full academic rigour. It's just for fun, and it's been a long-term ambition of mine, really, to do something about the Roman Empire or Roman civilization. And, you know, as it's been said on social media these days, boys do think a lot about the Roman Empire. Yes. And my co-host here thinks about it every day, if you must know. Yes, for context, for anyone who doesn't know, I myself do not look at these things, but internet trends recently have been saying more about how often people think about the Roman Empire. For us, it's perfect timing, I suppose. It is. There's interest out there. Just to summarise again, so we're looking at all of Roman civilization from the start to the finish. Or, if you want a catchy soundbite version, we're going from the Titans to Trebizond. And by the end of our journey, you'll hopefully know what that means. Who knows if we'll get there. It's a very long journey, but we'll do our best and aim to have fun along the way. Shall we talk a bit about format? Sure. We'll be probably one person explaining the topic of the day to the other. Most likely, my co-host there will explain to me and I will have lots of questions to ask him. I'm counting on it. But sometimes we probably switch the, the narration because 
that's going to be fun. Yes, and also it might be appropriate in instances such as the Greek princess Cassandra. If yes. that comes up, you're definitely the one doing the narrating because it's funny. Of course. So there might be a few tangent episodes like the princess Cassandra, depending on if anything good comes up in the period we're in. At the end of every century, let's say 400 or 900, etc., we might do a recap asking ourselves who's the best, who's the worst, and whose story do we enjoy most. Essentially, what we're saying is we reserve the right to be slightly inconsistent with the format and what we talk about, or at the very least vary a bit from time to time. We'll have a mix of primary and secondary sources. We'll be hearing more from Roman writers and Greek writers, I suppose, like Virgil, Procopius and Livy, as well as some more modern sources when I can find the books or actual sources. You don't know? Mm -hmm. Well, you will by the end of our story. Good. Or at least some way into it. Now that we've covered all the admin details, what are we going to be talking about first? Well, we're going in order from the start to the finish, so we will be looking at the creation of the Greek cosmos and the gods. Which is awesome, that's why going to be my favourite part, I think. There'll be plenty of opportunity for crazy family trees, which I think was the main thing you were looking forward to. Yeah. It's going to be a mess. <laughs> So from there, we'll meander slowly through some mythological stories and some relevant people like Aphrodite, on our way to things like the Trojan War, Aeneas, and ultimately the creation of Rome itself. With that in mind, what are some stories from either mythology or Roman history that you're looking forward to? I want to hear about Zeus, Yeah, because he sounds cool. He's got a lighting bolt, and, you know, it's fun. Oh, I want to hear about Caligula. It sounds insane. I want to I want to need to learn more about what he's done to oh, be so was. insane. Yes, I mean we will be hearing lots from people like the Roman writer Suetonius, who, as far as I remember from when I last read it, had opinions on Caligula. And um, we learned about Julius Caesar. Yep. I mean he was cool. Apparently he married the Cleopatra I know. Not married, but had an affair with. And um, yeah. What stories are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to telling you about some of the people who are stereotypically seen as great and seeing whether you actually agree with them. For instance, if I can reference another podcast here, Totalus Rancium, who looked at the Roman emperors, they did not like the Emperor Justinian, who tried to reconquer the West, as much as probably people thought they would from the name and the reputation he has. Hmm. So there's a few stories like that. Justinian I, Heraclius, Basil II, those kinds of names. As a final question, just to get us started, how much do you know about Roman history? I know that uh, in Roman history, I know that Charlemagne was Holy Roman Empire. (laughs) Okay, in Roman history, I know that Charlemagne was crowned as Holy Roman Emperor. Yeah, and became the Holy Roman Empire, I know it started around minus 27 or 28. Yep. And that, uh, according to whoever you want to listen to, and I want to listen to my co-host, it ended around just before Columbus. Yeah, so the Roman Empire itself lasted from 27 BC to the year 1453, and hopefully we'll be there for the whole journey. So with that, that's about all we've got this week. So next time we will be looking at the theogony and the creation of the gods. We're not sure yet when that episode will come out because we don't have a firm schedule, but we hope you enjoy when it comes out. Well, we're not sure how to finish these episodes yet, so how would you feel about, say, fading out with talking in the background? I feel like that could be quite fun. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. I'm I'm looking forward to doing this journey together. It's going to be very fun to have a very daunting over 2,000 years. Oh, I'm